guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessa or Tessa.mo on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram right here. I don't want no excuses. So today, as you probably know from the title, we have a very special video. Um, also excuse my hair, it's wet and I don't care. Today is gonna be the first episode of my Curvy Girl series, or I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet, but some along the lines of Curvy Girls. Subscribe, like, and comment so I don't be getting mad. So let me tell you a little bit about my skin. Now, I have very acne prone and sensitive skin. It's gotten extremely better since like I was younger and like high school and stuff. I've actually recently just turned over to like the natural route. A little quick skincare remedies that are like natural um, that have to do more with like herbs and oils and this and that. The other thing is I've also been, I've tried to like cut down on like the extreme skincare stuff like the extreme washing every single day thinking that your pimples will go away and stuff like that as i did that i kind of seen an improvement in my skin facially so i just kind of low-key applied that to my body I... wouldn't say i have like my body skin isn't like troublesome as much as my facial skin. Body skin though is very dry. Besides that, uh, I'm also you are also a curvy girl, or you're thicker, and you just have, or maybe you're not, and you just have tight thighs that touch. So if you fall under any of those things, you came to my video. I'm just going to basically run you guys down like my routine of like what I do to reduce like chafing, um, ingrown hairs, rashes. I've been using this routine for probably about like three years now, four years now. Basically when I started like using like bikinis that really kind of showed my bikini line area and you know just kind of grew up a little bit. There's two questions I get all the time. One is what is my thick girl like what do I do to prevent like certain things like chafing and like um some people ask me like how to prevent like the pants from ripping in between my legs um I currently don't have anything for that that just happens with time by new jeans is all I have to say um but I do have um some tips for like chafing and skin wise down there that I found helped me and um extensively and i like i said have troublesome skin so if you try this and you don't have troublesome skin you probably will have like the best skin ever so the first thing i do when i get in the shower is i just put the um the temperature on like high or whatever temperature you like for showering um i let my skin basically like soak in and like soak in the warmth of the shower and the pores open so yeah so i just basically do my thing wash my hair whatever then get down to the shaving so the first thing I do is I use a exfoliator like this. I use a glove like this. Basically what this does, if you don't if you don't know, these are like exfoliating gloves and this helps tremendously like this and then you're able to really get in there and like really scrub everything. Go the way of your hair um, and go back and forth and what that does is that exfoliates your skin so it takes off all the dead skin and stuff. It's usually which it, what ingrown hairs get trapped under. It's like I just get all in there to make sure like all the hairs are lifted and like the skin is like very 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 well exfoliated so that's what I do first so then I proceed <sighs> I basically use coffee to exfoliate my thighs and skin area and it also helps apparently with like cellulite I, could, I can't tell you exactly exactly like how foolproof that is I just know that I've been I used to do it all the time and I don't have really that much cellulite. I usually do it in the summer, like when I'm actually like out and stuff. Like in general, just the, the, the texture and like the tone of my skin is just less like lively. It's just more like dead all of a sudden. But when I do this, basically I guess what's supposed to happen is the caffeine in this actually helps uh, your skin plump. It kind of like diffuses the cellulite. It doesn't get rid of it. And obviously cellulite is caused by your um, diet. Uh, this helps a lot and I put it in this video because it's a little trick I use and I'm not sure if it fully works but you guys could try it and tell me how it does to your cell like what it does to your cellulite but I do this it makes my legs look really nice and then only that I really like the smell and um I don't know it's just natural it's just coffee grinds or coffee so um yeah I basically just take this I put a little bit in the palm of my hand and then I just basically use it like um cream like I just like start it's like a scrub kind of so I just put it all over my legs I scrub all over my legs and that's it <laughs> and then I wash it off um but a few things to keep in mind is this is actually instant coffee you can use like leftover coffee grinds from when like you're done doing coffee that works very well too because the it, like the beads are like 
bigger and tougher so like the scrub part works better for exfoliating but if you're doing this in the shower like I normally do I used to have like an outside shower after I got done like being in the pool and I used to do it there because I didn't like like too much gunk in the, in the bathroom and stuff but if you don't care about that mess um, and you're doing it in your bathroom I would recommend getting something like this where it's like an instant coffee um, and you just have the grinds because um, I don't want you guys to like coffee doesn't dissolve like coffee grinds don't doesn't dissolve so I don't want you guys to like clog up your bathrooms if you try it and it works let me know is what I do so the next step that I do is I actually take coconut oil um, once I'm immediately done like after the shower coconut oil is not moisturizing but it is sealing so right when I'm out the shower like purely purely out the shower and I just put on lotion like I go ahead and I take coconut oil and I just apply that all over my skin like I said coconut oil is not a moisturizer but it does condition and it makes your skin like really really or it makes my skin really really soft it doesn't work for everybody so just see how it does for you but it's like my favorite thing ever I use it for like all my body stuff and it works wonders. That's basically what I do for my inner thigh or thigh skincare routine slash like I guess body skincare routine specifically for thick girls. If you guys try any of these tips make sure to let me know. DM me on Instagram or take a picture and snap it to me. Let me know how it worked for you because I'm really interested. This is actually like kind of just some like old Cuban remedy. Not even Cuban. I just kind of thought about it. I was just like you know what reminds me of scrub coffee yeah that's pretty much it for this video let me know what you guys think i don't know if you guys want more of these tips and tricks um have a great rest of your day and make sure to like comment and subscribe buy the merch and remember to check out fashion nova um go ahead and follow me on instagram and check out um all the outfits i have uh that are provided by fashion nova including this one remember they're having their black friday sales so if you need some outfits before Christmas, if you need some outfits for the fam, if you need some outfits for your sister, if you need some outfits for anybody, let me know and I'll tell you what to do for Fashion Nova because they got that overnight shipping. Make sure to subscribe to my WeTube if you like 420 content, buy our merch at www.tessamaw.photos and make sure you get all your merch including the 420 merch that was just launched. So without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I love you guys. <sighs> hey.